The Auditor General is casting doubt over the viability of the multi-billion shilling Thuake Dam after studies suggested that its waters may be unfit for human consumption. The latest report of the Auditor General cites various studies that have raised the alarm over the pollution levels in Nairobi River, which will be a key source of water for the dam. But as Chemutai Goin reports, a total of 42.3 billion Kenya shillings has already been sunk into the project. Located in Boni constituency Makuini County, Thwake Dam was the hope for over 1.3 million residents cutting across Machakos, Konza, Makueni and Kitui areas. The multi-billion shilling project seeking to reduce the residents' over-reliance on rainwater and giving new possibilities for irrigation, hydropower, as well as industrial activities. But the Auditor General Nancy Gadangu is now pouring cold water on the dam, whose construction began in 2017 and was projected to be completed in September 2022. The latest report raising the alarm that the water entering the dam may not be safe for human consumption since it will be drawn from Athi River, which gets a majority of its water from Nairobi River. The report quoting various studies says in part, Nairobi River is heavily polluted with heavy metal and the water is unfit for human consumption. Adding, there was no evidence of efforts by the implementing agency to mitigate against the risk and ensure the river is free from pollutants and fit for human consumption before the end of the expected completion of the program in November 2022, end quote. The Auditor General expresses fear that the objectives of constructing the dam may therefore not be achieved. So far, 37% of the work has been completed for the project jointly funded by the Kenyan government and the Africa Finance Development Bank, AFDB, to a tune of 81.63 billion shillings, the first phase alone costing 42.36 billion shillings. In 2019, the Auditor General had cast doubt on the availability of funds for the remaining three phases. The new developments now bound to make it harder to secure the 39.84 billion shillings needed to cover the remaining three phases. The Auditor also raised questions on the utilization of the money allocated to the project, citing the management for breaching the law by varying some of the agreed specifications, particularly on vehicles to be provided by the contractor. The Thwake Dam revelations adding to growing list of scandals surrounding dam projects in the country. Chemutai Goin, Citizen TV.